I am Dr. Srikanth Madikattu, Consultant Orthopedic Surgeon in Manipal Hospital, Baner, Pune. Uh, today we are going to discuss briefly about total knee replacement, how it is done and in whom it is indicated. Total knee replacement is a surgical procedure in which the damaged uh, weight bearing portion of the knee uh, cartilage is replaced with a metal and plastic. It is indicated in patients in whom there is no improvement after medical and physical therapy. Total knee replacement is a uh, surgery in which the results are very good and the goal of the surgery is to relieve pain and improve the knee function. So in t t knee replacement is in uh, uh, is of two types in uh, for arthritis knee one is unicondylar knee replacement another one is total knee replacement in unicondylar knee replacement we replace uh, only the involved compartment if only if medial compartment is involved we do a medial condylar knee replacement and if uh, complete knee is involved then we do the total knee replacement so in total knee replacement if you see in this model in total knee replacement we uh, take the damaged cartilage cuts and we uh, put a prosthesis metal prosthesis in place of that using a intramedullary and extramedullary jigs uh, total knee replacement is a soft tissue procedure and uh, mainly uh, relies on the soft tissue cuts cartilage cuts and uh, ligament balancing. So total knee replacement is done in a regional anesthesia with the evolution of uh, techniques and surgical procedure we can make the patient stand on, on the same day of the surgery during the surgical procedure we give intraarticular injections uh, to decrease the post-operative pain in the patient and to enhance the recovery. So usually after knee replacement surgery patient are made to stand on the same day of the surgery and made to walk and uh, patient can achieve these goals because of the enhanced recovery protocol which we follow in our hospital and patient is able to walk on the day one and he can do commode chair training on day one and stair climbing also he can do and patient is usually using uh, walker support for a period of one or two weeks depends on the rehab how he does and after usually two to three weeks there is no need of any support for him to walk he can walk independently so for uh, we take the stitches out around two weeks and uh, Usually physiological recovery will be take around 6 to 8 weeks for, for the patient to recover and complete normal walking will be around 2 to 3 months from the date of surgery. Thank you.